Well, hello. This is Sergeant Soldier, and I have gotten these Zyklon figures from the film, uh, animated film Lightyear, and I've turned them into G.I. Joe power suits, and I've shown them on my shorts on my channel before on Sergeant Soldier on YouTube. And I have some tips I want to show off about how I cut out the rounded part up here off the top of the head using a Dremel tool. And so, I left the Zycon head, uh, the Zycon on the card. Um, it would be pretty easy for me to get in here, kind of show what, there's these lines there you can see that are molded into the top of it and there's a seam going across and this part right here rotates left and right, right? And what I want to do is I want to cut from the edge of the visor on the front. See it right here. It's got like some kind of strip on it of uh, vinyl, uh, shiny vinyl, but there's a edge that goes all the way around. The, the one issue that we'll run into, you'll see when I'm cutting into it, I won't cut all the way to this line. I'll cut right in here. And there is a brace that they molded into it. It's like right here. That you have to, that goes down into the back of the sphere. Okay. So we'll come back and make our first cut real quick here. Um, <laughs> to show you how to do this. I took a second to use a marker to mark out the line that I want to limit how far I want to use this Dremel tool to get this thing out of here. straight in using the edge of the blade the one of these cutter edges on a dremel tool that's a self-chucking uh thing on the end of there man i'll tell you what that thing saved a lot of time from having to go back and forth anyway i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna have this thing lift it out okay i've got him cut out all the way out from underneath his visor now i had to use a pair of flat clippers to get in there and kind of nip up all the parts that were fused together by the action of the Dremel tool. You can see the melted line. And the part that always gives me a booger is this part right here, which I haven't cut into yet because it's molded into the top of the helmet right here. And you can kind of see it if I zoom in real close, it's right in there. And so the, the cuts I have to make from here are going to be more kind of going like this to get the top of this thing off. At an angle. probably try to take it and then crack it out you see how it's still stuck on there you see that it's like a tube that's molded into the top of the helmet you can see it a lot better now and then I can go in here and angle that out a lot easier than trying to guess where it is so that's how I cut that out and I'll show you in the next step how uh, that looks when it's smoothed up. I'm not going to bore you with all the uh, corner work on that. Okay, we're back. 
this is what it's going to look like and here's the one i just cored out you can see i've got that line to work with and i've gone in and smoothed it out and i'll be 